Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another BotCon 2015 update. So just a few hours ago, it was revealed what the fourth figure in the Outlaws of Cybertron set is going to be. And, well, I think it looks pretty cool. We get a repaint, we get some retooling, and we get a figure we have not gotten in the U.S. before. Let's take a look. So the fourth figure in the set is quote-unquote the boss, and it's Megatron. Now, as you can tell, this is obviously a repaint of the breakdown figure. Now, we only got this mold from Takara. It was never issued here in the U.S. I don't know why. We also got an Autobot version of this mold from Takara for Swerve. Um, and they did another Silas version of breakdown as well for this figure so this will be the fourth mold for this figure first release in the u.s which i'm pretty excited for because i've never actually had my hands on this figure i really like the paint job on the vehicle mode this is actually a variant of the dark of the moon megatron and they kind of talk about the story it's in a very similar timeline as dark of the moon where megatron actually doesn't die somehow he warps around prime kills off prime kills off sentinel prime and ends up uh, battling rodimus prime which is very very interesting definitely digging it i love the paint job i love the green the browns the gray the chrome grill up front looks very very cool and he comes with some mini cons here we have a close-up of Megatron with his new head sculpt in the bot mode, and I like it. It's kind of got a G2 kind of look going on. They really wanted to kind of mix the Dark of the Moon Megatron with the G1 Megatron, and it's not too bad of, of a look. I like the sculpt. I think the head sculpt looks pretty good. The only thing is I wish the whole head sculpt was gray instead of the green helmet. I know it kind of breaks up the color pattern, but... I just like Megatron with a gray head. I think they'd give it more of a G2 look as well with the all uh, gray head on there. But overall, I'm digging it. I like the idea. I like the big bulky body. I like the Dark of the Moon look. And I'm not a big Bayformers fan, but I'm digging this. Um, and he comes with Minicons. So let's take a look at the Minicons that he comes with. And here we have... Megatron, kind of a full body shot with his minicons. So we get three minicons. Up on his shoulder is Scalpel, which is basically an homage to Scalpel or the Doctor, the little tiny guy that we get from Dark of the Moon, which is really cool. I appreciate that. Down on the left arm, the black minicon is Boombox, which is basically the Transformers Prime Micron uh, of Megatron's cannon, which I like. So we get a big black uh, cannon for Megatron, which is really, really cool. And then we also have this purple minicon, who's a mace, and it's Heavyweight, which of course is a G1 homage to the episode where he's got the Energon uh, Morningstar, which is really, really cool. Um, I, I like it. I, it's, it's different. Um, I'm really looking forward to the mold. I like the paint job. I think it's a pretty decent uh, redeco of the head. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. I think this is a really cool figure, and I'm looking forward uh, to getting it in hand. So, yeah, definitely fun stuff. Can't wait to see the last figure. Now, check out the link in the description below. Go to the BotCon page uh, where you can check out a video and pictures of this figure. Definitely cool stuff. Highly recommend it. Cannot wait for BotCon 2015 in Chicago this year. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. What do you think about this redo uh, for Megatron? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did you want something else? I'd love to hear your comment down below. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Share my videos. I really appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future.